your supplies. Looks like a couple of tubes so you guys can see some interchangement going on. As you walk in to your patient or you know if your patient comes to sit down you say hi my name is Kayla I'm here to draw your blood uh, can I get your first last name and your date of birth and then they give it to you and then you go okay well let me get my things set up and then we're gonna fill for your vein and then so you obviously make sure you put hand sanitizer on before you get to your patient then let your hands dry get your things all together and assembled I always assemble it before I even get started just because that's what I do. Um, then I'll go ahead and I'll tie my tourniquet. And then I'm going to palpate for that vein. <laughs> and if you always if you don't feel confident on one side you always want to switch to the other side because um if you feel something like a little bit on one side but then you're like mm, i'm not sure just switch because then that way you can determine which one's going to be more comfortable for you always. Okay. Once you've felt that, you go ahead and you go in. And you're always going to clean the isocentric motion away from the spot. Set that aside, let it dry. Always get your tubes, your gauze, and everything ready that you want to um, go with. And it's okay if they bleed a little, just don't go into that same spot that someone's already drawn in, okay? So, then you retie your tourniquet. Then we're gonna go ahead and double check our needle as usual everything's good with it and then we're going to pull back we're going to go in and you see how far i went in that's how far you need to go in for it to be a good yeah for it to be really good and like comfortable and so when you're pulling back i always grab with my middle finger and my thumb and then i push back with my pointer finger on the hub and then i push back As I'm pushing in, I grab with my thumb and I push with my I push with my thumb and I grab with these and I'm like pushing in like that, okay? And then again, my middle finger, my thumb, I'm grabbing and then I'm pushing ever so slightly. Then tourniquet. And then you grab your valves and you pull back, push pressure, activate your safety, throw that thing away right away. Ask for them, can you please hold pressure? And then that's it. And then you let them hold pressure for about a minute or two. You're gonna invert your tubes. Then you're gonna make sure that you, um, when you're filling out your tubes, you're filling from right, right to left, or wait, left to right, sorry. <laughs> and then um, uh, you're gonna make sure you always put their first name, last name, their date of birth, the military time 
um, whatever time it is. I don't know what time it is, but um, yeah, the military time. So if it's like, let's say it's one o'clock, it's 13.05, let's say, okay? And then, um, and then your initials, and if you have an employee ID number, you'll put that as well. And then once you're done, you see how long that kind of took in between all of that, they're holding pressure during that amount of time. Then you'll go ahead and you'll get your tape. Double check and make sure that they're good to go. You let them know not to carry, like ladies carry their purses sometimes on one side or the other. Just let them know, don't carry anything on this side just so that it doesn't reopen or anything like that. And then you say thank you, have a great day. And then that's it. <laughs> thank you. Can we see what markers have been followed so much too? Yeah, if there's actually like a, I can send them all the way I should have, but I can see them. And it'll stop. You'll literally like, you'll see the tube kind of back up on like the little hub. You'll feel it kind of like push back because like there's no more suction on it. And it'll be so easy to pull back on them. Once you fill them up all the way, you won't have like that hard tug. Like, because you guys aren't filling them up all the way, that's the reason why it's kind of hard to pull them back. So if you fill them up all the way, it'll be like better. Like, yeah, it'll, they'll come off so easy. It's almost too easy, okay. honestly. <laughs> so, so it yeah. has that like safety mechanism so that you're able to just like slide out right without out. like, you know, moving the Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, do all these tubes have that clear mark? Or no, it's just this one. This one is the only one that has that clear mark at the top. This oh, is a um, sodium citrate tube. Okay. This is the, for the PP, PPP, the coagulation studies. So when you're using these, these this light blue one, if you don't fill it up, they will even oh, we if don't it's have tubes. just even by a little bit, like how this one is, they'll be like, no ma'am, no ma'am, you're not, no. <laughs> they're gonna send, they're gonna send you back, and you'll be the one that has to go back to that patient, and that's probably the one thing that you don't want to do. <laughs> so that was it. Um,